to staying in for a pint with Kieran and Ethan. And uh, this week we have Torside with us yet again. Yes. Um, we've got two beers from them this week rather than one. Um, we've got their famous award winning Iron Spartacus, which is American IPA, 6.8%. Um, so it's quite strong. Yeah. And then we also have Fire Damage, which is a smoke stack stout. Say that after a few of these. Uh, and that's only that's five percent. Um, hopefully, you're going to prefer this more than mm. last week's. Yeah. If you haven't seen last week's, go and there's going to be a card here to go watch it. <laughs> Let's see if I can actually do it properly. There should be a card there. Um, can I just ask a question before yeah. we start? It's going to be an idiotic question. Go for it. You said that I'm Spartacus is an American IPA. Yes. From my intellect. Yes. Which is very little. Yes. IPA is Indian Pale Ale. Yes. So it's an American Indian Pale Ale. Yes. An Indian Pale Ale is a type of beer. And this is an American style version. Okay, of that type continue. Of beer. Okay. Um, now, we have an issue with which one we're going to start with. Because mm. usually I'd say go light to dark. Right. What to both dark? This, no, this is light. Okay. This is dark. Right. This is so strong that it could destroy our taste buds before we even get to this one. Start that one first. Then. Would you like to go dark first? Not then not. what we might do is take a break, mm. have some water to clean our palates down before we go on to Spartacus. Okay. So you still don't know how to use this. I'll have a try this time. Well, yeah, I yeah. usually go out that way, but I don't. I, I'm, I'm gonna do it that way. No. To the way. Did you say to, did you say to the way? To the way. Good job. Who at twenty years old says it? To the way. It's a. Uh, Thing that they said, uh, I'm sure um, Peter Kay said it, didn't he? I don't remember. Right, do you want me to pour yours again? Because it's uh, keg. Yeah. Cast, uh, cast condition. Meaning that there's a sediment in the bottom of it. What colour is it, Kieran? I was going to say black, but then I'm like, it's not black. But it, it is black. With fizz this time, it's been happy about. Bit of, bit of froth, that might just be down to my pouring if I'm totally honest and you want to get a black job in the pub I know <laughs> I think I just poured it a bit quick I definitely poured it a bit quick I mean yeah your one's like immaculate that's because it's mine oh you tasted it without me I'm just taking the crap off <laughs> <laughs> I've got a nice head on mine as well so now because we've both got a, a bit of a head on it, mm. what we're going to do first is we're going to, uh, well, as it settles, yeah, smell it. So I want you to tell me what, what smells you're getting from it. I can't smell anything. Have you got coronavirus? I couldn't smell anything before as well. No, okay. So do you want me to tell you what smells we're getting? I'm getting hints or something, but I don't know what it is. So we've got a really smoky, obviously from the beginning, yeah. it's fire damage, so it's smoky. So it's going, I am sure this has smoked hops in it, just some German hops. Um, or malt, German malt usually. It doesn't say on the bottle. What do you think of the bottle, by I the way? I do really like it, it's like an old style comic. Yeah, so I think that this mill here is the mill opposite the town. Mm. Um, and then obviously it's smoking away a bit like it would have done. What's that, like line, line, that a power line or something? Is it line no idea. There? Um. Who knows? Who knows? Now, I reckon you could get to the beer with that, but it's up to you if you want to let it settle a little bit longer. Get what? Get to the beer with that side head, or you can just let it settle to it's about the same as mine. Um, I'll wait a bit longer. So, can you smell any of it? I can smell the smokiness. Yeah, so that's the first thing that's going to hit you. Um, I haven't had it for a long time, mm. so it's going to tingle my taste buds as well to, to try and get me to, to pick out some more flavours other than just the smoke. Right. Um, obviously, the name of it suggests that it's going to be quite. It's going to be a burnt, smoky yeah. flavour. Um, we have got this dark beer, which is nice because we are trying to, as we said in the last episode, we're following the seasons. Exactly, trying to get some darker beers in. Um, Halloween was last week, so what's this settling? Do you want to talk about last week's episode? Do I have to? <laughs> if you haven't watched it, watch I've it. already put the card on the screen once. You need to watch it. Um, you've got to watch it all the way to the end as well. Yeah, definitely all the way to the end. There's nothing to do with the fact that we get views from it. We make no money off it. 
You just have to watch the full thing. I didn't even know you were sort of recording at the end when I did it. <laughs> <laughs> I just got up and go. Yeah. And I'm not going to spoil it. Exactly. So, we're going to take a, a few sips now. We're changing the way we do this. Yeah. So, we're going to take a few sips, describe the flavours and everything. Mm-hmm. Then we're going to cut the camera um, whilst we finish it. Then we're going to do the same with the Spartacus. And it might be that actually we don't have empty glasses by the time uh, you see the last of that beer. It all depends on how it's going. But mine's down to a good level. Yours looks yeah, like down to I a like good level. Uh, chin chin. You've got to breathe out through your nose straight away. And you get every flavour that comes straight back up. You got it all? Yeah. Uh, what do you think? I don't know. You don't know? No. You've not had smoked cheese still, have you? No. This would be perfect with that. It's just it's just like sticking your face in a smoker, in a barbecue. Something like that, isn't it? Right. Like the, the amount of yeah. flavour. It's still on the edge of your tongue, like bubbling away on your tongue. Are you, are you getting that or is that just my tongue that's getting that? It's just your tongue. Okay. Um, it's creamy because of the stout with it. Mm. It's, it's sticky in your mouth. Um... I've noticed that. Really sticky. It makes it harder for you to swallow your saliva. Um, but, yeah, you've got to breathe out straight away through your nose. What is your opinion of it? I quite like it. Yeah? Yeah. I wouldn't have it, like, on a daily basis. No. But if it was, as I say, the or this, mm-hmm. I'd have this. What if I gave you the option of... Um, fruit that we had. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Is that the orange one? Yeah. Yeah. You either have that, mm. or you get to have this. You've been out drinking all day. I'd have brute. You'd have brute. Yeah. You wouldn't want to try a. If you've been drinking brute all day, would you still stay with brute? Mm. You wouldn't switch it up and go for something different. No. See, I'd have this nearing the end of a session. Mm. Um, because it is just so dark and malty and creamy as well. Um, I think it's delicious. I really, I, re- I mean, I said this, I said that I really liked uh, Candlewick Imperial, and I gave that a three, and now looking back on it, I think that's a bit high. Mm. Um, for me, fire damage is a, a 3.75. Right. Um, I love it to pieces it's not quite as good as Franconia which I've gone on about several times but obviously with the current climate they're not brewing Franconia because it's not as in demand at this point in time but what are you going to rate it? this is the main thing I'm torn between 2 like a solid 2 mm-hmm. or 2.25 you gave Candlewick 1.75 yeah so is this only just better than Candlewick? Or is it better than Candlewick by a big step? I'd say definitely by a big step. Mm-hmm. Um, Candlewick's the monster one, isn't it? The one we had last week. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's definitely by far much better for me to drink anyway. Yeah. Because I can swallow it. Yeah. With, <laughs> yeah. Without pulling a face. Yes. Um. I'd probably give it a 2.5. Yeah, two and a half? Two and a half. So, bang average. Yeah. Yeah? I, I think, I, I would I would agree with that, with, with your taste buds. I think um, it's around there. Um, I don't really have much else to say about it at this point in time. Mm. I think I'm just going to enjoy drinking the rest of it. Mm. Turn the camera off, put some blues music on in the background and just enjoy the, the flavours. That... You really want to go to a jazz bar, don't you? Yes, I'd love this in a smoky jazz bar mm. with or oh, with a pizza That's like a proper oven baked pizza pineapple pizza no no pineapple on pizza we've had that discussion <laughs> we're not going there again well you should have mushrooms on pizza either i don't if i if i'm having the choice i won't put mushrooms on a pizza but if it's on there then i would have like fish and stuff on pizza i'd have tuna on a pizza yeah tuna yeah but i wouldn't have any other fish on a, on a pizza Good point. Cause I know people have mackerel on it. Nah, I've had haddock and chips on the pizza before. It's a bit weird. 
chips on a pizza. Yeah, it was a bit strange. It was just like thin slices of potato. Well, I didn't know those. I, I, first time I had a doner kebab pizza, mm-hmm. it was doner meat under the cheese. And then with chips under the cheese as well. Mm. Didn't taste right. No. No. <laughs> anyway. We're on a tangent Nice there. tangent. Um, we'll see you in a bit once we finish this. Welcome back, and we've just finished the fire damage, yep. and we're now on to I'm Spartacus. No, I'm Spartacus. I? Um, so, yeah, we've just finished that one. It took a bit longer than they were expecting, it so is. we'll have to cut the camera. Uh, it's, it's just, because it, it's so creamy and so nice, it's just quite chewy, mm. which, one, makes you want to savour the taste of it a bit longer, and two, makes it difficult to pause and save it that one. Right. Exactly. So um, we're now on to I Spartacus. The more stronger beer. The stronger beer, and uh, from the, the way it's pouring, it does look a lot. It's much lighter. Yeah, it's much yeah. more down your alley. Yeah. One. There you go. Just give it a smell. Oh, that was a good noise. Give it a smell. What are you getting, kid? I want pungent. Pungent. That's mm-hmm. his word of the day. Pungent. Yeah, that is probably. I don't want to be any of the fruity thing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what though. Well, they don't put any any flavours on the on the bottle. Or do you know what's in it? I don't know what's in it. I like what they made. I can tell you what's like in what it. Fla- what flavours are in it? Um, no, but I can tell you the correct ones. I taste it. Um, so obviously this is stronger. Mm. Um, they oh. also have a double version of this, which they double. yeah. So that's like thirteen point four percent. Yes, it's very strong. You only get served that in thirds, uh, and the third is the same price as a pint. So you ready? Here you go, chin chin. chin chin. Speciality. Mm. Well, what do you think? It's too early to tell, I need to have a <laughs> Chin chin. A bigger sip then. Yeah, so did in I. My, in my mouth, it's quite fizzy. Mm-hmm. And I like the fizziness. And I really like the smell of it as well. Mm. And I can definitely tell how the percentage, the units in it. You can tell it's strong. Yeah, I just can't tell what it tastes of. So it's your, it's, your, it's your standard IPA sort of yeah, flavour on your tongue yeah. that you really like at the moment. Um, and there is that, there's a, a fruity, grapefruity sort of flavour. Yeah, I can't the back. tell what it is, but I do know it's fruit. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's probably, I think it's great. You can check, untap, untap. Do you want me to? Yeah, I'm not So, untapped, you can carry on talking about it if you want. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just like a, from what it looks in, in the glass, it looks like a bang average IPA. But you taste it and it's not bang it average. It tastes and it's definitely not bang average. It's much more. So untapped has it down as hoppy, okay, fruity, mm. piney, mm. sweet and tropical. I can smell tropical fruit. Yes, there's definitely a tropical flavour. Piney. Piney, yeah. Um, so we haven't spoken about the bottle yet, so you can talk about the bottle if you like as well. Um, the bottle... The bottle, I've not seen a tour, this is the first tour side bottle I've seen with the paper around it that's not black. Yeah, it is. Because <laughs> it's, it's yellow. It is yellow. And it's, I can't, are those caterpillars around it? Uh, I think it's faces? just, I think it's just a, I think it's just a pattern. If I'm honest. I don't think it is. I think it's meant to be. Well... Not is. So on average, mm-hmm. on untapped, it's given a three point eight. 
3.8 on average out of uh, that's quite high it is um, I think that it is a very very tasty beer yeah it is a very it's nice a beer. tasty beer but it's not a beer that you couldn't just drink a lot of I think you go to a beer festival, you have all of their light ones beforehand, yeah. you have this and then you maybe have one dark beer and mm. then, then, then you're done, then you're struggling to get back to the train station. I think I'd have that over fire damage. Fire damage, yeah. I, I, yeah, because it's your, it's your type of beer. Um, yeah. I agree with you in some ways. Fire damage is a bit thick and a bit heavy. Mm. Um, I wouldn't say thick, but definitely heavy. Yeah, it's heavy to drink. It's hard yeah. to it's hard to swallow. Um, the Spartacus, however, is much much easier to swallow. Mm. But it's much more. You can feel it. You can you can feel the strength of it more than you can in the fire damage. Yeah, definitely. Um, I I think it's another it's another beautiful beer that they've managed to. I think Juice. I don't know whether I'm going to rate it. I'm definitely going to rate it higher than fire damage. But I don't know whether it's going to be a three or four. So for me, oh, yeah. I think I just rated that three two five. Mm. I gave that a three. Um, and you gave that a two five. Two. Yeah, two five. So you're giving this a. What are you going to? Do? You think it's better than two five? Mm. So is it a two seven five? Is it a three? Is it higher than a three? A three. It's solid three. three. So solid three. So again, like I think that's the highest beer you've rated, the highest you've given anything so far. It is, yeah. Yeah. So you'd rather have that than the brute or the brow. Well, maybe you wouldn't. Maybe you'd rather drink no, the brute I, or the brow. If I had a choice, if I had the option of having brute or this, I'd have this because it's higher in alcohol consumption and it's hoppier. Okay. But if I was to have like uh water jack of the rest, if you you only have one beer to drink yeah. for one night, I would rather have Brut. Brut or Brow, yeah. Yeah. Um Brut or Spartacus, not Brow. No, no, no. Brut or Brow were the two that we had on that episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which were very tasty. Um Whereas I'd probably go on Spartacus. On the basis right. that I think the the flavour palette is much larger mm, in I, that. I, I agree with that. Than in those than in those. Also, stronger, so you wouldn't have to have as many. So you're saving a bit of money. However, it's slightly more expensive than those cans. Those cans come in at one pound nine p. That comes in at three pound a bottle. Um, yeah. Um, but they're a pint rather than yeah. half a pint. Which so it works out. I'd rather have a pint. I'd rather have a pint. pint. Uh, when these are put on keg and cask, again, they're different gravy then. Yeah. Different gravy. Um, hopefully, you know, one day you'll be able to come and actually taste these at uh, a Torso Brew and Brew uh, Beer Festival. Once hell is gone. Once hell is gone and the beer festivals are up and running again. I'll um, to go to one. Yeah, we'll definitely go to yeah. one. Um, we won't be able to walk home afterwards, but we'll definitely go to one. Just don't fall into the canal. Crawl home. Yeah. Um, so I think those are de- that that they're both beautiful beers, mm. but they're both extremely different. I've never had a beer like I. Uh, it's got no already. Fire damage. Yeah, I've never had a beer like that. No. So I didn't know how. That's why I rated it that way. Yeah. And I'm still unsure of liking those kind of beers. Are not dark beers. Yeah. Because the first dark beer experience I had was the last episode. Yeah. And that didn't go down well. No. Um, and this one was okay. But you've still got that psychological lock of the... Yeah. Uh, and you've got me from a lager to a hops. And now it feels like, oh, he's, he's going to get dark beers now. Well, what we I'm might try... Stocking. We'll see if we can get some ambers in. Because... Mm. I've you not know, tried an amber beer yet. No, we've got a few... We've got a few weeks worth of beer in mm-hmm. now. Uh, we've got a couple more IPAs in. Yeah. Um, I think we've got three weeks worth of beer in at the moment. What? Just three episodes? Yep. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, and then once we've gone through those, 
we'll then look at getting some amber beers in mm. and some darker beers in and before you know it it'll be time for a christmas beer yeah. um and then we'll probably have a break for a few weeks yeah christmas break well we'll put an episode out on yeah. christmas and then we'll have then. three four weeks off yeah uh, as I disappear across the Atlantic. Mm. Um, have you got anything else you want to say about either of these beers, about the brewery itself? Because this is the um, last episode we've got on Tourside for, uh, until at least after Christmas. I know, well, you talk high spirits a lot yeah. over the past two or three years that I've known you about Tourside. Yeah. And I see, the, whenever I speak to you, whatever, I see the sign everywhere. I see the emblem everywhere. It was on brewing. the t-shirts. It was yeah. on. My, I had it in my uni room in first yeah, year. I had a flag yeah. of it. When I went to uh, Peru, I had a photo. Considering I just thought oh, it was just a little brewery. Yeah. And it might be a little brewery, but it is spectacular. The flavours that they managed to get. Yeah, got. what they make. I've only had three of them so far. Yeah. But I'm, I need to give them respect for that. Yeah. For a small brewery with a small group of staff, um, I, I take your hat off to you, doing? Chris, yeah. because what you and the team are doing is fantastic. The flavours you're bringing in, we're all still wanting the Viennese World flavour to come back, but you don't seem to want to bring it back. What's that? It was a Viennese World, so it's a vanilla and strawberry biscuity IPA. Bring it back. Bring it back. <laughs> um, but for what you guys are doing, with what you've got, and... Um, yeah, I take your hat, my hat off to yeah. you, and uh, I thank you for for the past how how many years it's been now of great beer that I've managed to taste. Um, from what I've tried and what I've heard from you, I'll travel miles to go to that brewery. There you to go. Have a taste. First beer festival back, we'll be there. Yeah. First thing on the Saturday or the Friday, depending when it is. Um, and as we said at the beginning of the episode, it's a bit different this week. So we won't be finishing our pints on camera. Yeah, um, it might take us longer than we expected. So, on uh, with half a pint to go, um, we're not out of beer, but it's the end of the episode. So thank you very much for joining us. Cheers. On staying in for a pint. Bye-bye.